all about the pentatonic boxes. There is one that everyone knows but I'm going to talk about two. That's the minor pentatonic and the major pentatonic and how they're related and how you should practice both of them to be succinct with the guitar. Um, there are many ways to teach it. There is usually playing the notes such as if I play an A minor pentatonic we have A, C, D, E, G, A. And if I play the relative major pentatonic, you'll see that the notes are the same. C, D, E, G, A, C. They just start on a different note of the same scale, hence they're relative to one another. But being a guitar player and not wanting to know any theory, how do we know where to go and how they relate to one another? Well, let's show you the first two notes of the minor pentatonic. If we start on this note, fifth fret, sixth string, this is an A, we use our first finger. And if I use the rule of one finger per fret, our pinky finger, our small finger, little finger, plays the eighth fret of the sixth string, and that is C. A, three frets up, C. The A is our minor pentatonic key, A minor. Our C is our C major pentatonic. And this is how they will always relate, no matter which note you start with. So for example, if I took D minor, our pinky, little finger, goes to F, making that major. Now I could teach you in terms of notes, but in order to just learn the box and get your fingers playing, let's show you the shapes. And I'm going to do that in terms of finger numbers, as in one, two, three, four. And they each relate to one finger per fret. Let's do it like this. Sixth string, one, then four. Fifth string, one, and then three. Notice my hand hasn't shifted position, it stays in the same place. Sixth string, one, sixth string, four, fifth string, one, fifth string, three. Fourth string, one, and three. And there we have a complete scale using three strings. Let's carry on with the other three strings. One, three on the third string. One, four on the second string. One, four on the first string. So all together we have one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. The major pentatonic relates to where, as we said before, our fourth finger is, our pinky finger is. Except for the next shape, we're going to replace where our little finger is with our second finger. And we're going to use the finger number rule again. Except this time, we're going to start with two. Then go to four. Then on the fifth string, we're going to go one four. Sixth string two, four. Fifth string one, four. Fourth string one, four. The scale is complete. Two, four, one, four, one, four. Then we move on to one, three. Then two, four. Then two, four again. Two, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, two, four, two, four. And I know that sounds like a lot of numbers, but you will start to remember it the more you practice it. So let's go over them again. The minor pentatonic. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, 
major pentatonic, starting where our little finger was on the previous scale. 2 4, 1 4, 1 4, 1 3, 2 4, 2 4. It's also quite nice to know where the octaves are for each particular scale. For example, on the A minor, our first note is RA, and then on the fourth string, seventh fret is also an A. And then because this is an E and this is an E, that's our A. Same fret, first string, that's our A as well. Same relates with the major pentatonic. And you know that fourth string, now this time 10th fret, and you'll start seeing a relationship between octaves as well. But that's another lesson. How do you practice these pentatonics? Well, I would go up and down them. But I'd also slide in between them in different shapes so we get to know how they relate to one another. As if you're playing the minor pentatonic, because the notes are the same in the major pentatonic, just starting from a different place, these notes are still the same scale, so they are accessible and relatable. So we can relate the two together. Put them together, practice them in lots of different ways, in any different pattern that you feel like. Maybe put some chords over the top if you know those two. Thanks so much. Hopefully I've put enough annotations at the top here. Any questions down below about the pentatonic box and how you can adapt it and further add it to different chords, please feel free to ask. Or if you want a different lesson which explains how we go further, because there are five different shapes of the pentatonic and it's wonderful to know them all so you can get to learn the fretboard and start whizzing around. Thanks so much. See you for the next one.